Congenital athymia is a disorder in which an infant is born with an underdeveloped thymus, or without one entirely. This leads to a reduction in T-cells in the blood and a significantly impaired immune system. Without treatment, the disease is fatal within two to three years of birth. Low levels of serum T-cells makes the infant more likely to develop viral, fungal, or bacterial infections, and less able to recover after these infections. This leads to frequent prolonged illness. Respiratory infections are common, as are opportunistic infections from microorganisms that typically cause only mild illness in people with a fully functioning immune system. Infants with congenital athymia may have a number of other health conditions as well. Congenital heart defects such as atrial septal defect or tricuspid atresia can occur in over half of infants with congenital athymia and often require surgical repair. Hypoparathyroidism, a condition in which the parathyroid glands don't produce enough parathyroid hormone, occurs in most infants with congenital athymia. These infants have chronically low levels of calcium and phosphorus in their blood, making them more prone to seizures. Another condition these infants may develop is immature cartilage in the larynx, called laryngomalacia. These infants often have trouble swallowing and eating, and may make a high-pitched sound as they breathe. Most infants with congenital athymia have either chromosome 22q11.2 deletion syndrome, which results in many different health problems, or CHARGE syndrome, which stands for coloboma, congenital heart defects, coenal atresia, growth retardation, genital hypoplasia, and ear anomalies. An atypical form of congenital athymia exists too. Just like in the typical form, the infant is significantly immunocompromised, but in the atypical form, the few T cells that are produced are never trained to differentiate between invading microorganisms and the body's own cells. As a result, infants with the atypical form of congenital athymia develop enlarged lymph nodes and an itchy rash in addition to frequent infections, as their T cells attack their own body. Congenital athymia is associated with chromosome 22q11.2 deletion syndrome, where there is a small missing piece of chromosome 22, and charge syndrome, usually caused by a mutation in the CHD7 gene. It can also be caused by mutations in the FOXN1, TBX1, TBX2, PAX1, and SEMA3E genes. Infants are at an increased risk for congenital athymia if their mother has diabetes during pregnancy, although a clear causal relationship hasn't been established yet. For some infants with congenital athymia, the cause is unknown. In most states in the United States, congenital athymia can be diagnosed after routine newborn screening for severe combined immunodeficiency, or SCID, that identifies a low level of T-cells. A flow cytometer can determine the number and percentage of various cell types, including T-cells, in a blood sample. Treatment of congenital athymia has traditionally been focused around managing the symptoms of the condition. Antibiotics and antiviral medications are used to treat infections. Calcium and vitamin D3 are used to treat vitamin and mineral deficiencies, and a tracheostomy is inserted for patients with laryngomalacia. The use of cultured thymus tissue has now been approved by the FDA to treat pediatric patients with congenital athymia. It works like this. Infants who undergo heart surgery often need part of their thymus removed so the surgeon can gain access to the heart. Instead of discarding the removed thymus tissue, it is saved and sent to a lab. There, the tissue is cut into thin slices and stored in culture for two to three weeks. The slices are then sent to an operating room, where they're implanted into the quadriceps muscle of an infant with congenital athymia. The term implant is used instead of transplant because the thymus tissue is not transplanted directly from one infant to another. It first undergoes processing at a lab. Following the implant, and over the next nine months, the thymus tissue develops T-cells and restores the immune system of the infant. All right, as a quick recap, congenital athymia is a condition in which an infant is born with an underdeveloped or absent thymus. 
This impairs the infant's immune system, resulting in frequent infections as well as a deficiency of serum calcium and phosphate. Congenital athymia can be associated with 22q11.2 deletion syndrome or CHARGE syndrome, or it can be caused by genetic mutations, but it may also occur without any clear cause. Diagnosis is made from blood tests showing low serum T cells and the infant's medical history. Until recently, treatment focused on managing the symptoms of the disease, but implanting healthy thymus tissue into the quadriceps of the infant has now been approved by the FDA as a viable treatment option.